Next, we will visualize the flow around the turbine by adding some streamlines. Up in the toolbar, we'll click the streamline icon and we're going to name it Velocity Streamline. Now we'll tell it to start the streamlines from the inlets. So for start from, click on these three dots and this lets you choose multiple surfaces. We're going to select both of our inlets. You can uh, use the shift key if you want. Okay. We now have the option of choosing the number of streamlines to display. I think 200 is a good starting point. Now change the variable to velocity in standard frame. This sets our frame of reference to be the ground and not the turbine blade when looking at these velocity streamlines. Now in the color tab, change the range to user specified and type in nine meters per second for the min and 13 meters per second for the max. You can obviously play with the colors yourself, but I found these to make it graphically intuitive. Okay, so we're all set. We'll click apply. All right, isn't that cool? So I preferred to look at the wireframe as well. Makes it easier to see our domain. So here are a few important things to uh, take out from these streamlines. So first, you can see that the inlet has this yellow color and from the gradient here we can see that it's uh, 12 meters per second so this is what we specified. Next there is a clear drop in velocity um, behind the turbine and this is definitely the correct behavior as it's showing the wake behind the wind turbine. Finally there is a clear acceleration of the flow around the wake and this is shown by the more orange-like color right here. Uh, perhaps we can better see it uh, from this angle. Yeah, like here, all around it. This is also what is expected from mass and momentum balance. So this behavior matches actually the actuator this model of a wind turbine quite well. You can obviously play around with the way you want to display these streamlines and you might also want to consider not using the inlet top surface to uh, better see these results.